Hey, Tony from Bikeberry here. It's good to see you. Got my man Elijah with me. How you doing, Elijah? Doing pretty good. And good. So Elijah's here helping me get the Stinger all started and our first bona fide ride. And I'll tell you, I think this is a six pack building machine. You got to lay back and everything. <laughs> so if you've got abs that need a little work, I think you could buy a Stinger and then it'll help get your abs in shape. So as you notice on the Stinger, I've already started doing the modifications on it. I put aluminum head on it because you know, us builders just can't stop. Just can't stop. One thing I want you to keep in mind, this is a mini chopper. The original bikes that these were modeled after were mini choppers, right? They were low to the ground, everything. This one, they've actually stretched the frame up so they're a little bit bigger size so that you could fit pretty much any two stroke engine as far as I can see. But keep in mind, they are a mini chopper. So let's roll. So let's follow Elijah on his half mile ride here. As you can see, he fits really well in this bike. Elijah's around five foot nine, so he's almost as tall as I am. And uh, he said it's a pretty comfortable bike. Now we're not used to riding choppers as much, so he said the leaning back part was, uh, was new to him, but he really enjoyed just the feel and the ride of it. Uh, it's a super solid bike. It really does handle the terrain really well. And with the wide four inch back tire, that thing really is cushy. Like I can see why people really love this. But overall, like plenty of power and everything just to handle the, the road that we live on. Right here, we're on a curve and then we come up on another one and then downhill. Really, the wheelbase of this bike and coupled with the knobby tires, it really grips the road and it's a solid ride. I could totally feel how it just gripped it downhill and now we're going uphill. Uh, it's just effortless. Let's look everything over on our chopper style frame. If you look at the wheelbase from center to center, it's 53 inches. Now, the front wheel is a 24 inch wheel. 2.35 wide the rear is a 20 inch wheel four inches wide they're both knobby tires which uh some of you may not want a knobby tire but i think that's a great start on this bike to get because in my area it really helps it to grip the pavement i have no troubles riding this i felt like it was a very stable ride and nothing was slipping at all during my ride it has a crank set that's the three-piece type with a 44 2 sprocket it's really solid. I love that this bike came with front disc brakes and rear disc brakes. You notice that I put a dual pull brake lever on there so that I could add the clutch on there. Um, but man, this makes it a world of difference for stopping power that it's a stock thing on the bike because trying to add them on later, yeah, you can do it, but because these rims and everything are so unique to the bike, it's really great that it came with it. Then you throw in chopper style handlebars, a front headlight, and a bipod kickstand that's out of the way when you're working on the bike. I really love those because then you can pedal, uh, you know, crank the pedals around and adjust things, and your kickstand isn't in the way. Finally, I love that it has a storage bag on the front. I just thought that was a really nice touch to the whole bike and to the whole theme. You ready to get this thing started? Come on, let's go. Or do it again. <laughs> you ready? Let's roll. Let's take a look at the frame geometry. Now we covered the wheelbase being 53 inches. So that means the overall length of the bike, wheel edge to wheel edge is 76. So that's a pretty good sized frame for a mini chopper. The next thing to look at is the standover height. On this bike, it's 28 inches. So this is you swinging your leg over the seat just to get on the bike, okay? 
And because the seat dips down, that means the lowest seat height position of 27 inches. But you can crank that all the way up to 30. So that's pretty good. I've seen a lot of guys do that just to get a little more reach back over the rear tire. Well, because I know this is gonna come up, let's see what engines fit within the Stinger frame. The cool thing about an engine ready frame like this is it already has all of the mounting posts that you could need. It's really truly set up to run an engine on. You don't really have to modify anything. I, I think this is probably the easiest engine install I've ever had because the bike has a sprocket on the back. It has good brakes. Uh, it has engine mounts for a two stroke engine. I mean, what's better than that? As you can see, I have a stage four 80cc engine in here mounts perfectly it's on the direct on the post there's no mounting hardware at all outside of what came with the engine so that is amazing i've never experienced that in my life uh, you can see that there's plenty of room from the top tube and this decorative plate there's gobs and gobs of room here i would say like eight inches or so that's pretty awesome also in the back end here where you mount your carburetor so any of you guys who want to mount big carburetor <laughs> apparatuses on here uh, you'll be able to do it because there's gobs of room you're not up against anything this seat post is offset to the side and so there's plenty of room I put a short intake on here so that pulled the uh, carburetor back but if you guys are gonna do you know any other bigger carburetors there's room for it Let's throw some measurements up here. So if I wanna just do general measurement from this back tube all the way to the front tube, honestly, you have around 14, 14 and a half inches. The normal installation though, let's see what it is from, let's say just a CNC head to the top plate. It's around six and a half, seven inches is what you have. So that's pretty awesome. And then from, let's say the seat post, to the engine you have about six inches so whatever configuration you want to you utilize there you'll be good now there is a uh, plenty of room because the engine is offset from the seat post you can see it here see how the engine mounting post is down there then this is your seat post here let's let's go around to this side so if you're wanting to do a much bigger carburetor see the path that you have here wide open one restriction you want to keep in mind is this long chain path okay and then this chain guard so where the engine sits lower in the frame than on like a cruiser bike uh, or the f0 or something like that where the engine sits above the chain guard and everything right in the front sprocket so that is going to be a restriction is this whole area here of anything that's want to protrudes so you might have to get creative and lift the engine up higher. I haven't gone there yet because this is my first engine install on it, but something to keep in mind. It's a strong point of this frame is it has an integrated mounting plate for your gas tank. So like the, you don't have to do any clamps. You're not messing with this decorative plate or anything like that. Man, that's like a lifesaver. <laughs> Let's talk about exhaust on here, okay? The good thing about a stock exhaust is they really kept the in mind, the pathway for your crank set. So it fits a stock exhaust perfectly. One of my next uh, projects is gonna be figuring out how other exhausts are gonna fit on it. I'll keep you updated. You'll see that coming real soon. Well, yeah, lots of positives about mounting an engine on here. There's so much flexibility and so much room. The only restriction is really going to be this chain path. So, man, so many good things. And did I mention the killer cable management that's integrated into the frame? Super awesome. All right, let's talk about the 100cc engine. This is a V1. Remember, I had the V2 on the F0. So I thought, oh, this is perfect to kind of see how this is going to fit. So it'll bolt right into the, the post there that you see. The only issue you're going to have is the exhaust goes off on the right side of the bike. I am working on an adapter for such a situation, so be patient, I'm working on it. I have to get some uh, machine shops involved. And so once I have a good prototype, we'll start talking about it. So for right now, yes, the engine bolts on, but your exhaust is gonna be a problem because it's gonna run into the chain guard and the front sprocket. 
So for right now, just stick to your classic 80cc engines and mod the heck out of them, as you all do anyway, right? <laughs> Well, the Stinger maiden voyage first ride was a success. Elijah and I had a blast on it. I really tried to go deep on what fits, the frame dimensions and everything. So when you go to the site and start building out the cart to get your Stinger, you know exactly what fits and what to expect. So please comment below of any questions that you have that I missed. Let me know what your thoughts are of how you want things to fit and kind of your vision for the Stinger that you're gonna enjoy. So let me know below. I appreciate you. Let's roll.